welcome 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 once again happy new month happy new month happy new month happy new month may this month come with lots and lots of good tidings for all of us may it bring nothing but goodness good health prosperity favor from god above um i want us to pause about spiritual uses of this spiritual uses of that let's pause on that first because sometimes the truth and the reality of life is some of us keep going back and repeating some mistakes so even while we are doing some spiritual this spiritual that it may not be working because we are repeating the same mistake this morning i want to talk about who lays their hands on your head who lays their hands on your head now i am not talking about um where you go to make your hair for example no i am not talking about maybe someone just touching your head no there are some persons for whatever reasons they will not allow you to touch their head you understand now the laying of hands i'm talking about where do you take your foot to where do you step into and hands are being laid on your head who lays their hands on your head this video is going to be a very brief video because it's a video i want you to go back and reflect on your own personally sometimes it's not everything that needs to be said there's a, a saying that um the wise when you just throw a word to the wise then he will digest it i just want to ask you where do you go to where do you step your foot who lays their hands on your head and for one reason or the other you allow people to just lay their hands on your on, the, uh, on their hands on your head your head is your glory your head is your crown your head your your your, your health how do i say without the head there would be no human your head is your your direction now when some people are laying their hands on your head their hands on your head do you know what is in their hands what hand where those hands may have been soiled and all that who lays their hands on your head please think twice think twice and think deep who lays their hands on your head because as for me by the grace of god i won't be allowing anyone to lay their hands on my head again no always that is why i always talk about us knowing god for ourselves not believing that someone else is better than you no not believing that someone else has to come before god for you i'm not saying that people shouldn't intercede for us i am not saying that we shouldn't go to people to intercede for us but all i'm saying is be wise who lays their hands on your head who is the person that is laying his hand on your head is it even necessary is it even compulsory that a hand must be laid on your head before whatever or whatever will surely come to pass who lays their hands on your head sit down and think where do you go to where do you step into and a hand is being laid on your head this may be the reason why you are still having that problem or sickness and all that please be wise let's know god for ourselves let's know god for ourselves the gate uh, the gate of heaven before god is open for everyone yes it's open for everyone to come before god come before god don't feel inferior when it comes to coming before god don't believe that someone must always go before god on your behalf the door is open the gate of heaven is open god is waiting for you to come yourself not until you send someone and they begin to lay hands on your head and all that on all that remember your head is your glory your head is your crown that is where transfers are being made that is where transfers are being made now the question is what transfer is being made good or evil ask yourself good or evil be careful who lays their hands on your head that is all i want to say this morning thank you for watching i really do appreciate you